All right, welcome back YouTube to another one hour grind series. So today's topic, we're gonna to be looking at grinding uh, Elvia Primal Giants and showing you the location, uh, rotations, any mechanics, and then finally looking at the loot. So I actually really enjoyed the spot more so than my last video, which was on Highland, which is an in-game grinding spot with high gear requirements. So this spot was a breeze comparatively, and it's just something about being able to kill a group of mobs fast, just making the gameplay pretty satisfying, right? I mean, who needs a confidence boost when you can annihilate the mobs faster than a grown man chugging a beer? Just saying. Uh, also, just a quick disclaimer, just like my other one hour video, so I don't get too roasted with my trash numbers. But this video is geared towards a person who may be checking out the spot for the first time so your money per hour may be a little less which does reflect into my numbers but i also talk about the potential average money per hour once you maybe get efficient at this spot also i'm not perfect so if i happen to leave anything out that you think is important for this spot please let me know down in the comments below but with that being said let's go ahead and jump right on in all right so this spot is going to be in the elvia server close to keplin located right here okay and then here's the town here you'll just go to sell your loot uh, but essentially this is going to be in the Elvia server which you can get into the server by uh, going and clicking this button right here and or going to the main menu and also doing that as well right here so either way works um, also, here is a picture of all of the potential grind spots. So thank you, Reddit. Uh, but all the hours that I did here was at the Marnie Zone, um, which is actually right where I'm located. Uh, and I'll show you my rotation that I was doing right now. All right, so gear. The recommended total stats at this spot is going to be 750 for the AP, and then the DP is going to be 410, with the soft cap being at 856, which you can see your total stats if you pull up the monster zone right here. And then your section might look like this so you're just going to want to click view total stats and you can kind of see right here pretty cool new feature that they added recently so mechanics once you find your rotation or the if you use the marnie realm essentially you're just going to want to grind in a circle okay kind of in a circle here and uh while you're killing the mobs it's going to release souls and you'll eventually get a purple circle on the ground and uh it will if you step in it it will spawn even more mobs that will drop more trash loot and just more loot in general and uh you'll just kill them and then you're just going to want to ignore it and then keep going in your regular uh grind rotation Right, so you're not wasting uh, wasting time as they spawn back in, and uh, eventually you'll get back to the same purple circle, which this individual right here is also doing that. Right, so he killed him, and then he went ahead and went to the next spot. Right, and uh, again you'll just uh, kill it, go back in your circle, and you'll just kind of repeat that phase, 
And uh, eventually, after a few times of doing that, the, it's going to release a little mini boss. And once you kill him, you'll get a buff that increases your attack speed and your cast speed. Uh, so nothing too crazy with that mechanic. And then the other mechanic is sometimes, which you kind of saw a little bit earlier, the whole area was kind of glowing in red. Uh, while you're killing the mobs, especially if you're close to the portal here, as you're killing the mobs um, around this glowing red portal, uh, you can get a low chance of another event spawning um, called Elvia Distortion Phenomenon occurring. So that's that's where uh, the area, again, will go completely red, and one of three bosses will spawn. Uh, either it be the Cyclops, the Gigagord, or the Ogre. And again, it's just kind of a little little cool mechanic that kind of just helps break up the grind a little bit. All right, so buffs you may want to run to be more efficient at clearing uh, at this grinding spot can include a simple cron mill if you're under the monster AP cap or an acquisit mill if you're over the monster AP cap. Then you have the uh, frenzy drought. Uh, tent buffs, uh, villa buffs, church buffs, Bell's heart, and then you have the AP uh, monster artifacts with, uh, again, really any PVE lightstone combination uh, that you might want to choose. But with this spot, uh, human damage is going to be important, so you might want to stack uh, human damage with your lightstones and also with your crystals. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got in one hour with just using a level two loot scroll with my drop rate being around 157% without Agris. Uh, you can also pay 50 million to get the temp buff for a 50% uh, increase on your drop rate, but I did not do that in this video. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the drops here real quick. So I have the monster zone info pulled up. And essentially, uh, you have a chance of getting the Black Distortion Earring, which uh, is a very, very low drop rate percentage. Also, to point out with the mechanics, when you kill the boss here during this event, you'll actually get a buff that will help kind of kill the monsters quicker. Also, you have a higher chance of dropping the black distortion earring as well. I kind of forgot to mention that. Uh, other items here, you can get the ancient spirit light. So you can essentially use this close to the portal, and that will kind of help cleanse the area or cleanse the portal. And again, you'll get another buff for at least, I think it's around five minutes to again kill the monsters a little bit faster. And then you're going to get the black stone and uh, black stone armor and weapon stones here for enhancing. Uh, and then you're going to get the Bless Soul Fragment, which is going to be used for putting that onto your Alchemy Stone here to kind of enhance it a little bit further, right? So really important. Now, this is the, this is the rare drop. Now, uh, you can get 200 of these in order to make, right, one of these, okay? Um, and then you're going to get the Sealed Black Magic Crystal, uh, which you can either just click on that to get a random crystal, or you can process this down uh, just already like this to get different materials. Uh, and then you're going to have the Mass of the Pure Magic, which is going to be used for enhancing uh, the Black Star uh, gear. And then this here, Scorching Sun Shard. So you're going to be essentially using this here for enhancing the uh, god-eyed weapons um, and or also enhancing your Marnie sniper rifle uh, if you're into that. And then you're going to have Corrupted Breath, which you can use this to turn your Frenzy Droughts into the Corrupted version. 
Again, we kind of talked about this one here as well, uh, but you can get 200 of these to get one of these. You can also use this as well, or you can exchange this in order to get the embers of Hong Kong Kig. Don't totally pronounce that wrong, but you can get the embers, which then you can eventually get your best in slot gloves here. Okay, so just a kind of an alternative way to get your embers for your gloves. Then you have the trash loot, which is going to sell for 25,000. Well, that's kind of the separate, that's the secondary trash loot. The main trash loot is going to be this one, the scornful uh, spear, which is going to be 20,000. So that's going to be your main trash. And then trace of the battle, which again, you can use that for crafting different items. All right, so let's look at the numbers here. So according to Garmoth, the potential average uh, money per hour at 157% drop rate, which is what I was at uh, with the yellow loot scroll, is around 1 billion, uh, with the average trash being around 26K. So again, that's a number you can potentially expect if your gear is at the right spot and uh, you get efficient with the rotation uh, and if your class is top tier with pve it's also important to note that your money is definitely going to vary based on your drop rate uh, which you can look at that right here so i'm at 51 percent drop rate so if you increase this you're going to get more money per hour now let's look at my few hours here uh, my first hour that i recorded while live streaming at 157 percent uh, drop rate was 808 million and 23k uh, trash loot. And then the second hour, I got 758 million. And for the trash loot, I got 25k. And then the third hour, uh, I used my Awakening Warrior for that hour just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And I got 585 million with the trash loot being around 20.8k. So I'm sure I could have gotten that a little bit higher, but. I was a little bit rusty with Warrior. Uh, I was also, during the time period, learning how to play Sage. Uh, and I think I got like around 16 or 17k trash uh, my first couple hours ever playing Sage. Uh, so yeah, overall, a pretty decently chill spot. Uh, especially, you know, you're just coming here mainly probably for your money per hour. Because it actually uh, is it's pretty good. It's pretty decent, given the the gear score. Yeah, you know, the other reasons that you might be here is to eventually get your uh, cup that you can add on to your alchemy stone, right? Or maybe you're trying to uh, enhance your your um, your god eye weapons, potentially. But again, I think the prime reason is just going to be just, just the raw silver, the money. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments uh, what your class is and what your average trash here at this spot is per hour and uh how much money are you making an hour at this spot but yeah with that being said thanks for watching uh if you like the con the content then please like subscribe and i'll see you next time